it is in the time, it, it is the time of the year where Massachusetts falls back. Right? And we have we haven't changed our time. Somebody would fly into Boston at like three o'clock. Sure. And if their appointment was in three o'clock in New Hampshire, they could actually technically make it because they so, right? So that would be a proposal that is not on the table right now because we're talking about only moving if Boston. Right, exactly. So, exactly. Okay, so you're not. So, okay. so this is contingent on Massachusetts and Maine moving. Mm -hmm. So that wouldn't actually, um, that would be a different legislation. Right, okay. All right. So we're just proposing that we will do this only if Maine and New Hampshire and Massachusetts and Maine do it. Yes. Okay. But, but your your point is well taken for, like like. Um, I'm just trying to. Uh, if this, this there are some states that have that, 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 that. That that has ha happened, and I have heard anecdotal evidence about someone saying, "Oh, I'm going to be late to a delivery in Arizona," and they're like, "No, I have another hour because it's going to change as soon as I get in Arizona." Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, does the bill? Is it an automatic trigger? If we pass it and Massachusetts pass it, do we automatically, as of that date, so how does the how is that supposed to work? So I worked um, on the contingencies uh, for this. Uh, so that is, I believe, section three of of the bill. The contingencies. So the contingency is if they submit similar legislation and. Um, then a kind of cascade of effects happen. So we're not actually allowed to move time zones. Uh, we have to request from the Department of Transportation to move time zones and submit evidence and stuff like that. So the, um, the proposal is that once they um, go into effect, then as, as a group, essentially, we will request to the Department of Transportation to switch us to a time zone. Atlantic time zone, and then there is a separate uh, conting contingency for part one, which is to go on the same effective date or essentially in the middle of summer, which would have no change to the time clocks because we would be in daylight savings time at that time. So, um, just to be clear, you won't have to come back before us. Once they do it, it's automatic their zone and well, it's it's just contingent on them passing it. And it and it's based on their effective dates and and our, when when the different contingencies happen. Uh, okay. <coughs> this needs to also be approved then by the Department of Transportation. So therefore even though the states pass the law <coughs> It can't become effective until the Department, the U.S. Department of Transportation, in, in fact, signs off on that. Right. So, so um, you're not allowed to to switch time zones without because of how time zones actually started with transportation in between states being uh, apparently they have the final say, and that is addressed in the in the um, commission report. And this is how you are going to have to switch time zones. Given that we have um, significant evidence and and the fact that you know our the de daylight and stuff like that conditions in the New England, I don't believe that they would deny it. But it's yeah. have, have you um, discussed this proposal with any uh, school representatives, um, school boards, superintendents? Um, as regard to to the time the the time to start school, I did not. I I've mentioned it to to superintendents, but I didn't go into the detail of whether or not it was um, they were be in favor of of a ten at eight thirty time start time. Thank you. I guess. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. I'm Carol McGuire, representing Merrimack District 29, which is Allenstown and Pittsfield. I 
had a similar bill in the previous session, which was approved by the House. It died in the Senate because, I'm not sure why, but one of the reasons was they didn't want to be seen doing what Massachusetts did. So um, that's you know, nice for your policy, but with 100,000 New Hampshire residents working in Massachusetts, being on a different time zone would be uncomfortable, to say the least. The reason that we're trying to do this is partly to avoid the spring forward fall back, because that change is well known to be dangerous. Uh, there's lots of data in the report. It causes accidents. It causes sleep disruptions. And the reason to go to Atlantic time is because of the asymmetry of our clocks. There are a lot more people out and about at 6 p.m. than at 6 a.m. So in order to have afternoon daylight, we're willing to let it be dark in the afternoon, in the morning, and hope that that's, you know, we're so far north that it's going to be dark one or the other in the middle of the winter, no question about it. We'd rather have it be dark in the morning. And if you look at a map, you'll notice that New England is not only north, it's significantly further east than most of the uh, eastern time zone. So it, is much, it would be much more comfortable for us to be on you know, an hour ahead of, of the sun, because we don't let the sun go cool us. But it is nicer to have daylight when you're out and about than when you're sleeping. And the reason Indiana is such a problem is that the, I believe it's county by county in Indiana, whether they go to daylight savings time or not, so it's always a mess. Um, but most of the country lives with time zone boundaries. We've got five time zones, you know, you, you get used to it. You know, it's a different time in, um, in Chicago than it is you know, elsewhere. And nobody, you, know, you get, you learn to deal with it. It's not a big deal. But if you're lit, if you're working in Massachusetts, if a lot of people in Massachusetts are coming to New Hampshire for the vacations, which is what happens all summer and all winter, we don't want to be on a different time. And so the point of this is that when Massachusetts decides, this is to encourage Massachusetts to make a smart decision, and then we'll go along with it. Um, and so I hope that you will support it. And I'll answer what our questions are. I'd just like to say to Irvin McGuire, I'm going to enjoy Red Sox games on the West Coast starting at midnight. <laughs> if this passes. <laughs> uh, nothing is perfect. It'll be okay. We'll get over it. <laughs> Besides, we live at home, not on the road. <laughs> Thank you. They make BCR for BCR. Mr. Chair, Chair and committee, I think it's uh, normal. It's not an every bill thing for a committee member to jump from the table and come testify. But I grew up in one of the states that has multiple time zones. 26 years of my life, I thought maybe this experience would be helpful. And I did look it up. Here are all the states that have more than one time zone. Mm -hmm. Nebraska, Kansas, Texas, North and South Dakota, Florida, Michigan, Indiana, Tennessee, Alaska, and Kentucky, where I grew up. And I grew up in the, on the, the western edge of the eastern time zone. It's really nice. Even at Christmas time, it's light out to like 6 o'clock. Of course, we're closer to the but. Um, it definitely made a difference when I moved here because I now have seasonal affective disorder and maybe it wouldn't be so bad if we switched to that. But really I'm saying this and wanted to speak not because of that, but because it's really not that, it sounds complicated because you're not used to it. It's like a lot of things in life. You know, we have one really easy way to adapt to it and that's clocks are everywhere. If, whether you have a smartphone or a dumb phone, Clocks in airports, for example. Like I flew for Christmas time, I got diverted through Chicago. So I was in the Eastern Zone, and then I switched to the Central Zone, and then when I landed at my next flight, it was in the Eastern Zone. 
It's not that hard. You have a phone, you have a watch, you have clocks. It just sounds different and difficult because we haven't experienced it before. And in that sense, it's, I just wanted to say, like, how do all these states deal with it then? I worked um, my first jobs out of college. We're in Kentucky. I worked for the Kentucky Democratic Party on some elections. And the polls close in one half of the state at 6 o'clock, and then in the central time zone at 6 o'clock. And it was bipartisan because it happened with Republicans too. And it really is just something you're used to. You know, drive a half an hour south from Louisville, and then you're in the central time zone. You just know that's how it is. Plus, they put signs on the highways. And if we're willing to do this with other states' participation, a lot of the perceived difficulties will go away. People who travel a lot for work, they're doing this all the time. It's not rocket science. It's simple. It's, it's just a simple matter of clocks. Um, there's a lot more I could say, but I will add this point, because the school time didn't change uh, for us in the western part of the eastern time zone. And all the bus stops have lighted areas. It wasn't a big deal, but it was nice to come home and still have that many more, uh, to have that extra sunny time uh, for your personal time was really nice. So anyway, as someone who grew up in this situation, thought maybe people might have a question of you. Yes, thank you, thank you, Mr. Chair. Who is that? Can you please, can you give me an example about uh, when it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon? And in Kentucky, yeah, what, what time it, it is there? <laughs> right now, it's also 3 o'clock in the, in the eastern half of the state, but it's 2 o'clock in the other half of the state. Um, yeah, it's one just hour, normal. Hour, no, yeah, sorry, part no. of this. Completely half of the state is in the central time zone. So one it's hour, the same for Tennessee as well. One hour difference, or yeah, just an hour. Thank you. So, quick question. Sure. I mean, we're talking time zones here. Yeah. Here we're talking about those states still do daylight savings time, correct? True. So that's not comparing the same because they're going backwards four months out of the year where we wouldn't be. So we wouldn't be like comparing one time zone to another time zone. That's, mm -hmm. That's correct. But living in areas with that close of a line was just no big deal. I mean, whether you have a smartphone or not, we have access to clocks. Um, and if anything, the research shows ditching daylight savings time would be healthy for everybody. Um, I'm going to double what Representative McGuire said. But the research, there's no decent reason to have daylight savings time, which I think is the purpose of the bill when it was originally presented a few years ago, was to ditch daylight savings time because it's healthier to not have it. Um, so you're right in what you said, but, and why I wanted to speak is because we have that difference right there, you know, where I grew up. And many states deal with that. So it would just be something you would have to deal with twice a year, just like we do already, but only in the consciousness of when we cross a border. Um, Did you just say you were okay with ditching daylight savings time? Yes. So you're for the bill? Yes. Yeah. Okay, because I was clear? really confused. Really? I feel like I was being very strongly no, supportive no, no. of the bill. I was really? pretty sure you were against it until you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Um, yeah. To follow up again the question, if we elect to be down this road, and given the fact we have such close ties to the state of Massachusetts, and we're now on the same time zone called the Atlantic time zone, if they decide to go to daylight savings time for whatever reason, what would we do? It would be the same as any other situation where you have a difference. You know, like all the examples I listed before. Like if you fly from one airport to the other, you know the time has changed. Um, there are signs on the highways. There are certainly clocks at airports. Any place where you would go that has an entry to that area, maybe with the exception of a boat, I guess, um, you would just know by signs and you would adapt like we already do. I don't know. I mean, I haven't experienced that specifically, but um, yeah, yeah. I mean, right. you just have to adapt. It's not rocket science. So. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Oh, um, I recall when the previous bill came up that a point was made that some of the schools 
the extreme western border of New Hampshire. Um, students go to school actually in Vermont, and the point was made that if New Hampshire's time changed, it could work difficulties for the families that are sending their kids to school for different clock times in Vermont. I'm curious, when you went to school in Kentucky, did you go to school in the same time zone as where you were living? Yes. So I can't say what so that is. Sure, to they would have to adapt. Yeah. I mean, that's a good point. Um, yeah, they would know when they go to school, it's a different time. Can, uh, if you don't mind me bouncing off of that, it, if, I'm, if I'm thinking the math, math or the time zone correct in the case of Vermont, it would, if the Vermont school started at 7 a.m., it would be 8 a.m. in New Hampshire, right? Or am I thinking? Or am I yes, backwards? Yes, you're right. Okay, so I I don't know that that would be necessarily a disadvantage in the sense that they wouldn't have to wake up earlier, because we would be an hour ahead of them. I, I suppose that if the Vermont children were going to school in New Hampshire, that would be worse. Yes. Than it would be f for the other way. Yes. Um, so I don't I don't know that I I don't know if that's necessarily a disadvantage well, for I, for New Hampshire students that have to happen to go to Vermont for school. That's true. And I would also say there are people who work at um, just south of Fort Knox that travel to Louisville for work, and because the time zone line is right there, they have to know that there's an hour difference between where they live and where they work. Yeah, I'll follow up that. It was mentioned that by the, I think the previous person that nine months out of the year we would match the Eastern time zone in three months. I'm just looking for clarification to make sure I've got this correct. Three months out of the year we would be in Atlantic. Distinctly, I think it'd be six months. Out or is it of the six year. months? Whatever it is, April to November, whenever the, the change happens. We would have a six month difference in time zones if folks stayed with daylight savings time in other states, and we did not and adopted this bill. That's correct.